To save others, first save yourself. I've always been fascinated by the safety videos that are shown on the plane just before takeoff. Not because I was afraid of what might happen on the flight, but because I kept thinking about the scene where one must first put on their life jacket and oxygen mask before helping others around them. I used to think that this was a selfish concept. How could a parent put on their mask before assisting their child? But then I realized that the only way to save others is to first save yourself. Airplane safety videos have been instilling such simple yet critical knowledge in their viewers, but how many of us have actually paid attention to the message? In order to make the lives of others more manageable and pleasant, we would give up our reserves of patience, compassion, and flexibility. As a result, we forego our basic necessities. This was not motivated by a desire for approval and validation from others, but rather by empathy. It was an understanding we'd had since childhood. We have a sensitivity to the fact that others get hurt just as much as we do, and we are naturally inclined to provide relief and comfort within our abilities. I now realized that the more I listened, gave sound advice when asked, and let others involve me in their pain, the more depleted I became. So I began to cultivate a sense of personal freedom. Once I was able to give myself permission to walk away when I had enough, or simply because their story was not mine and I had my own to live. However, this is where my true self-preservation began. For all of the time and effort I put into helping others with their unwanted problems, I became more focused on myself and gave myself more importance along the way. Many times, we find ourselves in situations where we want to be helpful, compassionate, and giving to others for whatever reason. It's letting someone know they are not alone. However, finding the balance of giving only as much as we can within limits is crucial. When you try to make things better for a lot of people, you may end up making things worse for yourself. If we are of no use to ourselves, we are of no use to anyone else who may rely on us or value what we have to offer. Self-preservation is one of the most important gifts we can give ourselves. We tend to give ourselves more spark by knowing our limits, honoring our needs and desires, and taking the time to heal and repair. A little sacrifice is noble but depriving yourself of too much will only leave you depleted. By that time, most people won't even realize that you need anything because you're the one who is always given. It is also important to take care of yourself. Self-preservation is not selfish, it's essential for living a full and happy life.